Well, yes, we are now live. Uh, I hope that you guys can hear me. Megan, if you are live on, uh, on chat right now, let me know if you can hear me. We have a, a new audio source that we're trying out right now. So if you could let me know. If you could hear me, that would be great. We can hear you. Swag. That's awesome. Thank you. So we just finished um, doing all of the teleprompter bit and thought we would show you what we have here is the the Collinwood School Fire Memorial. Hi, Dana. Beautiful Connecticut is right. It's a fantastic place. Thank you for coming. Um, this is the memorial here at Lakeview Cemetery for the Collinwood School Fire that happened in 1908. Um, 172 children lost their lives. It was the greatest loss of life in a school fire in United States history. And uh, we've been on location today at the memorial site where the accident happened. And now we're at Lakeview Cemetery uh, looking at this memorial. So I can't remember for sure how many people are buried uh, at Lakeview. There is a mass grave. I believe the number is 13. I believe there were 13 students who were unidentifiable and one teacher whose remains were never found. And they are buried here at Lakeview Cemetery in a mass grave. Uh, again, this fire broke out in 1908 um, and it just chaos ensued. Children trapped at the exits, piling on each other, wedging themselves in the exit doors, unable to escape. Uh, just such a tragic scene and a tra tragic thing indeed. We got uh, John here. He, uh, he's got his rig all set up, as you can see, and he's filming some B-roll for us right now. Trying to uh, get as much footage as we possibly can. This is going to be, when this video comes out, it's going to be heavy with um, uh, archival pictures. Um, it's probably the best way to tell it, but I wanted you guys to see that we were actually on location today. Uh, we were going to go live from the memorial site at the actual site itself. It was just too busy. It's, it's in a busy part of Cleveland, uh, very noisy, and not really the best environment for a live stream. So we decided to come to Lakeview Cemetery, which if you haven't been to Lakeview Cemetery, in Cleveland, you have to come. There are some very notable people who are buried here. Elliot Ness is buried here. Um, uh, Alan Freed, the man who coined the phrase rock and roll is buried here. And just so many others are buried here. Here's our Instagram. Thank you, Megan, for posting that. So we posted, I took some pictures today uh, both from here and at the memorial site where the school burned down and put those on our Facebook page and our Instagram page. Megan is loading those onto um, into the chat for you guys to take a look at. Let me see if I can turn this around and make it not so weird. Here. Oh, there we go. See, I'm talking into this thing. So it's, it's kind of brand new for us. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, Hope you are all well. It is a beautiful day here in Cleveland, Ohio. We are talking about sunny, uh, close to 80 degrees at some point today. It's cooling off a little bit of a breeze, um, but it's, uh, it's, it's a great day to go out and make YouTube videos, that's for sure. Uh, we are going to start from here and show you the monument. We're gonna go to the backside of the monument here and I'll show you. It's got the list of names of all the people who perished in the fire that day. You can kind of see it there. I don't know if you can read it from that far away or not. I'll turn the camera around in a minute. Uh, we only have about a little less than an hour and then we have to get out of here because Lakeview is going to be closing around 5.30 today, I believe. 
But we're going to head over to the James A. Garfield Monument. President Garfield Monument is extraordinary. It's huge. So we'll hop in the car and head over that way if we can <laughs> remember how to get there. The cemetery is so large, it's just amazing. So there are the names of all of the people who perished in the fire. Uh, two teachers, Grace Fisk and Catherine Weiler, and then all of the students who perished in the fire that day. Such a sad day in Cleveland history, that's for sure. If you get a chance, you should probably take a look and see for yourself online what there is to see about uh, the Collinwood School Fire, the Lakeview School Fire in Collinwood. Uh, there are some stories out there that really tell it in detail. I've told it in a little bit of detail, uh, but it, it would be a very long video if I reported on everything that happened that day. So um, hopefully, and it's, it's a different kind of video. We haven't made this kind of video before. It's a little bit more free form. There is some teleprompter work, but it's a little bit more free form than what we usually do. And uh, there were a couple times I had to have this guy here. I had to have him stop recording because I kind of lost my composure. It was weird. It's very strange. So anyway, wanted to check in from here and say hi. How close are you to being where you need to be? We can probably go. So we can probably move. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to have to hand all this to you then. Oh, yeah. Well, let's do it like this. Well, how about if I follow you? Put it on. Uh, yeah, sure. And I'll follow you to the vehicle. Walk over to the car. So, we're going to do this. We're going to try this. <laughs> You're shaking them up. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so. Have a map. All right. So, we're actually going to clip you onto this if we can if we're smart all right so it's like, uh, probably the hottest day of the year so far here in cleveland it's pretty nice um you know we uh we complain a pretty fair bit about ohio being an absolute just uh, a tremendously frozen place which for the most part is true but the uh the summers are real muggy and real hot over here too it doesn't necessarily um get like that until uh, a little bit later in the year but in months like april it can be very you know what i gotta turn the phone around i'll do that when i'm back in the car um but it can be very uh um sporadic how fast the weather can change here because we've gone from well just so let's see just as a uh, as a as a comparison you can uh, you can pretty much understand that in early april i was born 29 years ago good grief and the um it just made me old i know and when uh when i was born it was the uh it was the home opener for the then Cleveland Indians. It was the nighttime. Correct. And uh, it basically was a a great day for baseball. Great night for baseball. And then four-ish days later, when I went home from the hospital, and my uh, my mother and my father brought me home, I uh, it snowed. That's true. <laughs> and now. It's eight degrees. <laughs> Let's see. So I think this is Garfield Road that we're turning on right here. Probably. Uh, which will take us to the monument. Okay. You got orientation locked on this guy, so I can't change it. So that means I gotta be clever. Oh no. I don't want to be clever. At least I think this is Garfield. I don't know. What's the problem? It's not very clear as to what is where. The, uh, the, 
we talked about it already. The cemetery is huge, like gigantic. Um, yeah, if you haven't been here and you are and you are local, um, what are you doing? You're you're wasting time. You know, it should be nice tomorrow again. I imagine, right? I might. Who knows? It might snow. But uh, if it's anything decent coming up, go, go. Uh, the everybody who's uh, who we've interacted with here too has been really, really kind, really nice. So it's it's an excellent place to come. Just walk around, even. Oh yeah. So so there you go. You can't really see it through the trees, but we can certainly see it. Coming on up. Oh yeah, and we you talked about it, right? How there's some pretty significant folk buried here. You know, we got yeah. uh, we got dead presidents and we got uh, dead billionaires and you know. Oh, I forgot to tell about Rockefeller. Yeah, Rock, uh, John D. Rockefeller is buried here. Is it uh, it's quite the place. In fact, I think that big marble obelisk nice. right there yeah, is Rockefeller's. Yes, it is. That one right yonder, that guy. Yeah, that definitely is. I, I remember uh, early into you deciding you wanted to film and make videos and stuff. We uh, we came out here the one time, and it was uh, a hot, hot, hot day, mm -hmm. but coming up here you know we're, we're, we're sweating our butts off but you couldn't really you didn't even care you know it was just such an uh, such a cool place I mean look at this talk about a structure boys my goodness so we'll see if we can get to the picturesque yeah you, we want to get to the other side of the where the hill is and we'll go down to the bottom of the hill and we'll catch a couple looks at it and we're gonna do another uh, another little outro sequence down there and talk about what's going on to you guys and yeah it's a very cool place unfortunately I don't think um, I don't think we are allowed to go in there <laughs> and do and do footage no uh, they yelled at us they yelled at us one time when we tried what's up Randy how you doing you living the dream I hope so that Randy White? That's Randy White. Randy White is is like one of the most awesome people in the world. Yeah, dude. And a uh, quite active member in our community. And a, a loyal Patreon member, and just love him to death. Yes. Just there's no better way to say it than just Randy is just an awesome guy. Just love him. We uh, can't uh, find a place. We're have to. We got to go around again. We're going around again. We got time still. It's all good. It's quarter till five, so we don't. We're not going to need a half an hour, you know. Let alone forty-five minutes. So I wanted. I, I wanted. Uh, <laughs> Although I'd like to be here longer, yeah. frankly, it's really cool. <laughs> I wanted the people who who are on uh, with us to be able to see some other things too. Yeah. Uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll kind of park in between here. We'll yeah. Kind of. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Make our way Absolutely. around. They should see the Rockefeller Monument. There are other things up here to see. Absolutely. As well. There is the, uh, oh, the angel. That angel parked back in the it's in the bushes. right there. Yeah. It's, no? Where is it? I think it's, it's, over, there it's over in this side. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to come around here because we've, we've got to see the Garfield Monument. Uh, and then we'll go from there. We've got to find a wide enough space on the road to park so people can get by here at Lakeview Cemetery, they will actually put, it's not a ticket, they won't write you a ticket, but they will put uh, something on your window that says, don't park on the grass, stay on the road. Our roads are wide enough, you know, and uh, we found that out the hard way the last time. <laughs> so here we are. I'll hand that off to you. So oh, can, uh, very cool. Get myself situated, Chip. Okay. So we are parked outside of that monument right there, James A. Garfield. If there's, a, if there's any way you can flip that camera so you can orient it, the, uh, put the camera on this side, not that side, 
that would be excellent because otherwise I put it here and all it sees is this. I don't know how to, but we'll deal with it as we go. It's not a big deal uh, right now. I don't know that that's a, I don't, I don't have, I, I uh, don't. Yeah, I get it. I don't. <laughs> I get it. It's, yeah. Huh? Did you lock the car? I should lock the car. Lock the car. I'm gonna give you this. All right, cool. I'm gonna. The, the, I'm gonna stare at these people yeah. like this. I'm gonna stare at them. We're at Lakeview Cemetery in Cleveland, and uh, yeah, it's like the perfect spring day. A little bit warmer than spring. That's cool with me. I like the warm. So yeah. Yeah, lock the car. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Got it. All right. Let's go. Yeah, don't look at me. Look at this. This is much more interesting. Gosh, look how tall that is. I know. Too. I don't know how tall that is. It's, it's big. It's very it's not tall. short. We'll get you as a size comparison. Okay, here. I'll go stand next to the wall. Hey, you've you've gotten small. Yes, Megan, it's gigantic. And uh, the inside is gilded. It is uh, so amazing. Yeah, look at how small your brother is now. And we know that he's not small. And that is how big the James Garfield Monument is. It's gigantic. Absolutely gigantic. So that guy was driving that AMC that just went by. It was a right-hand drive. I'm like, okay. Well, that's weird. That's interesting. All right, so you wanted to. That way. We're okay. Down the hill. I keep on reaching for my phone in my back pocket. <laughs> it's, in your, it's in your hand. It's in my hand. Yeah. Beautiful day. It's a beautiful day here today. There's your monument. Just insane how big that is. Yeah, for those of you who just joined us, you probably saw the title that we were at the uh, Collinwood School Fire Memorial at Lakeview Cemetery. Um, we've come away from that. And we're at the James Garfield Presidential Monument now. As Jacob Marley would say, it's a ponderous monument. Oh, Randy, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, no, no, that's awesome. It is ponderous. Ponderous, James. Um, so I don't know when this monument was erected. Do you know? We're gonna... well, cause, so the last time we were here, we did the tour, right? Or that, uh, it's more like a presentation, less yeah. a tour, but we were there and uh, and they had uh, you know, expressed to us the stuff about the monument, about President James Garfield and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was very cool. Very, very, definitely worth it. If you're here and you can do that, do it. It's cool. Yeah, so when when we were here last time, they said to, you know, we, we both had our, our cameras in our hands and we were, you know, taking pictures inside of the presentation. How's the back? It's meh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Meh, meh. I'm alive, but, <laughs> you know. Um, we, were, we were here with our cameras and we were on the inside and the people who were doing the presentation were really cool but their boss kind of ran up on me and started shouting at me, saying things like, you know, no professional photography. Yes, and, is this for commercial purposes? Yeah, no, yeah, and, and it's, it's like, like no, no, at the time it wasn't. It either. wasn't, no, we we didn't even have a channel really no, at no. that point. That, had, that so, was uh, very new. Yep. So what's really cool about the inside of this monument, you go through those doors and, well, I, well, hold on, let me, fair to partly cloudy, eh? 
<laughs> yes, sir. Very much so. So let's turn around so I can talk to you guys. Greens from Danville, Indiana. Hi, Kathleen. Thanks for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, a couple things about this monument that you folks should know about. Uh, first of all, this is the only monument for a president. And this is what I was told. I don't know exactly how true it is. But you go in those doors right there. You're on the ground floor. There is a winding staircase that winds around that takes you into the basement rotunda. And there, they are there in their caskets. Um, they are not encased in anything. Most presidential um, memorials where the president is actually lying in state is encased in marble or, or whatever. They're in their caskets. You see the actual caskets of um, Garfield and his wife uh, downstairs in that rotunda. The other thing that's very interesting about this place and a little bit kind of, I don't know, takes people aback when they notice it. Um, and most people don't notice it. I didn't notice it. Uh, the tile floor, it's a, it's a marble tile floor in there. And the tile floor, how do I say this gently? I don't know how to say this gently, so I'm just going to say it. <laughs> are inlaid in the shape of swastikas. Now, it's, it's important to remember that that symbol before World War II or before the Nazi party took it over, that symbol was actually a symbol of peace. It was and, a Hindu, wasn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, I, I want to say that it was it was uh, like a, either a Hindu or Buddhist symbol of some sort. My son being yeah. a historian. Something so of the sort. I'm so proud. Um, but yes, it was it was known worldwide as a symbol of peace. And then the Nazi party took over that symbol and it's been, you know, what it has been for now since the 1940s or late 1930s. Uh, so there are some people who walk into that monument and they see it right away on the floor and they they are taken aback by it. I was looking up. I didn't even notice the floor, to tell you the truth, until we were getting ready to leave. And the person who was, the guide who was showing us around pointed it out and then told us a story about it. So that's what's very interesting about this monument in particular is... Uh, it's beautiful on the inside. Did we upload that video to our channel? No, so I don't think so, but there is a bunch of stained glass and, um, you know, there's a, there's a huge, that, what is it? It's like a probably a 10 foot tall statue of Garfield right in the middle. Yeah, you know? so I, I, yeah, you're right. We, I don't know if we made a video. Megan, can you do me a favor? Can you go on to the Curious History site? It would be one of the very first videos that we ever made. And can you see if that, if there is a James A. Garfield video? If you would do that, please. Civil War means place of peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, if there is, if it is there, Megan, would you, uh, would you upload a link in the chat? I'd appreciate it. If it's not there, it's not there. I'm sure we have pictures of it somewhere. Yeah. And oh yes we'll uh, hopefully be able to get those on the Facebook page or whatever. But yeah, that's that's the James Garfield Presidential Memorial here in Cleveland, Ohio. And now the people of Cleveland completely understand why there's Garfield High School and the city of Garfield Heights and all of that in Cleveland because of President James Garfield. So, did you want to walk over to... Uh, to John D. Rockefeller. And yeah, before we do that, we're gonna cut a quick outro here. What am I gonna you say? You know what? We can't. Never mind. You took you your lapel off. Yeah, I did. Okay, never mind. That's fine. Good. I didn't want. It's to, fine. I didn't it want to cut matter. an outro. I'm done doing outros. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, we can go back. Okay. Just need to grab more B-roll of the actual cemetery itself. So. Mm -hmm. I, I can sit here and film this all day because it's ridiculous, but. Yeah, we took a you ton know. of pictures when we were here last time. Yeah, I took a couple hundred. So, mm -hmm. somewhere out there, there's at least like two that I liked. Hey, this is in the shot, man. Gotta get rid of this. It's in the shot. Good grief. Probably take the, the 
that part of it off. Dad, could you say the name again? Bubba was being loud. You're looking for anything, Megan, that talks about President James Garfield Memorial. Um, no. Is it the Lakeview Cemetery? Yeah, it would Megan, be. It's the Lake. it's the Lakeview Cemetery video. Pretty sure it's the Lakeview Cemetery. Thank you, John. I'd appreciate everyone giving a like. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Yep, Lakeview Cemetery. If you could uh, link that in the chat, that would be great. Ooh, fat guy walking up hill. How do you do this to me? It's all your fault. You must pay for your art. Dad, let's walk down there. Pay for your art. Pay for my art. Coronary disease. Not pay for it. Some of these monuments here at Lakeview are just extraordinary. And oh, yeah. the thing, if, I don't know how well it's coming across Lakeview. Thank you, Megan. I love having a moderator. <laughs> Megan, have I told you lately that you were just, like, awesome? If I haven't told you, then something's very wrong with me. Um, Cleveland in April with the trees beginning to flower. It's kind of a, uh, a great looking thing, I think. Whites and pinks. It's absolutely beautiful. Also, it's not open until April 30th. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so we're gonna head across the street here. This part of the cemetery that we're coming on is very prominent. Um, a lot of the founders of the Cleveland area and a lot of the wealthy um, were buried here. As you could tell by the size of the monuments, they're just gigantic. But there are two obelisks that you can see. I remember the last time we were here, we <laughs> trying to get up this hill. <laughs> we actually went up the hill right over there and it's like, no, let's go here. old man. So this monument right here that you see, Glidden, yes, it is what you think it is. The founder of Glidden Paint. Is it Francis Glidden? I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. I think it's Francis. That is the, uh, this is the family plot for uh, the founder of Glidden Paint. And then you can see there are two obelisks in your frame there. The one on the left, I'm not sure of. The one dead center to you. Yep, big family indeed. The one dead center is uh, John D. Rockefeller. We have another street to cross, don't we? No, we do. Goodness gracious. This, uh, this cemetery is so well kept. You know, we have, why is it not painted? That's Randy White, ladies and gentlemen. That's a, uh, that's Randy White. That's a pretty fair point. No, that is. That's a pretty fair. That, no, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, my funny bone. Look at that. Okay. Um, we have been to, yeah, this is the hill. Good grief. We've got to go down that. So. not muddy. No, it was that day. Yes, it was. Remember, once you go down, you got to go back up. And then there's stairs. Thank God. You know? Stairs I can do. need more stairs. Okay. We've been to several cemeteries that have been overgrown and abandoned and hard to navigate. Well, you couldn't get any more of the opposite with this. This is the most, I mean, last time we were here, I remember seeing just an army of people with lawn mowers. Mm, that's right. You remember? Lawn mowers and leaf blowers. Yeah. Yep. All right, let me turn you around. 
30,000 comedians out of work and you get me, I'll take it any day. John D. Rockefeller. I think, if I remember correctly, and you guys can go ahead and tell me if you know differently, I think um, adjusting for inflation and all of those things, Rockefeller is still the wealthiest American ever. I believe that's the case. That is his family plot down there. That is one very tall obelisk. I'll get closer so you can kind of get an idea of just how tall it is. Wow. John. Look at that. Folks, I don't know if you can see that. I don't think can I zoom in it for you? I think I can. Welcome to the Cleveland, downtown Cleveland skyline. Off in the distance there. So this cemetery is on the east side of the city. And that is downtown Cleveland that you're looking at. Huh? Never even knew we could see that. Right? Okay, so I'm holding you right now at eye level, eye level for me. Um, it's way up there. Okay, I got it. That's my boy hard at work right there. She's going to get some, some B-roll footage for us, I'll bet you. So, we were, um, for those of you who are just joining us, welcome. We were at uh, Lakeview, this, the former site of Lakeview Elementary School in Collinwood, Ohio. Collinwood is, is really Cleveland. It's just... I don't even know how to explain it. You know, uh, you know, it's the city of Cleveland, but there are named neighborhoods. Um, and it's like uh, it's like how New York has, you know, well, all you know, the so, different boroughs. Cleveland's got just cities, not as uh, certainly not as um, as <laughs> packed. Yeah, that's <laughs> New York. Is, yeah, have you been to New York? Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's true. But there's. We, you know, the, the, um, this cemetery is right next door to Little Italy in Cleveland. Um, and that's its own neighborhood. Collinwood was its own neighborhood. And we were at the site of uh, what used to be Lakeview Elementary School in Collinwood, where in 1908 uh, the school caught fire. It was Ash Wednesday. And the school caught fire, 172 students, kids, little kids, elementary school, two teachers and one local resident perished in the fire. And so we made that video today. It's gonna to be a long process to edit that video for sure. Um, and we did it in two parts. We did kind of a free form kind of video while we, was, while we were there. Uh, and then we came to Lakeview Cemetery, which is where the mass grave of those unknown people who perished in the fire are buried and uh, found the monument and did more of a teleprompter reading of the script that I, I read and John's going to put together kind of an amalgamation of the two for the video to come out and I'm going to put together some b-roll stuff um, for it too. I'm going to do some outtakes. Uh, there's a lot of stuff coming. For those of you who aren't part of our Patreon family, um, just so you know, that stuff is going to hit Patreon first for our, uh, our patrons. There are some things that get loaded on the Patreon that don't come onto YouTube. 
that's sort of a gift for me to our patrons for being so awesome and supporting the channel. So if you have any aspirations whatsoever, right now my daughter is going crazy saying, finally, he's talking about Patreon. Um, because we, I, don't, I don't like to sell. But anyway, um, on our Patreon channel, we have things that we upload ahead of schedule. And we have some content on there that doesn't make it to YouTube. So if you're at all interested in supporting the channel, um, head over to our Patreon. And Megan, maybe you could put a Patreon link up. See how well I did? Aren't you proud of me? It's the last time you're going to hear from me. I'm done. Okay. I don't know what time it is. 5.07. 507. There's one other thing that I wanted to show you folks here. If we could find it. So we're going to go this way. I want to see if we can find the angel. Yeah, it's over here. It's got to be. It might be right here. But... I think you're right. <laughs> oh, I have one. <laughs> well worth the support. Thank you, Randy. Randy has been a loyal supporter for us. And, uh, and uh, Randy, I'm still going to reach out to you soon. Um, on Patreon so we can get together and discuss plans. It's going to be awesome. Uh, oh, I almost forgot. You don't know this. You probably do know this, my son. Do you know what today is? You know what the date is today? Thank you, Megan. It's the 14th of April. April 14th. What incredible historic, incredible is not the right word. What incredibly tragic historical event happened on April 14th? I'll give you a date. I'll wow. give you. I'll give you a year. Okay. Ready? 1960. Nope. Sorry. 1865. Ooh. Okay. This is the end of the Civil War. Is that right? It is the end of the Civil War. The Civil War has ended. I don't know. April 14th, huh? 1865. A little after 10 p.m. Ford's Theater. Oh, yes. Today, or later on this evening, is the anniversary of when President Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. Now, it's the anniversary of when he was, when I say assassinated, it's when he was shot. That's when he was shot, yeah. He didn't die for... No, he died nine hours later. Yeah, yeah. I think, so it, he I died, think the day had passed. Right? Yeah, he died on the 15th. Yeah. Uh, but, hi, Tony. Carson City, Nevada. Nevada is one of our most favorite Carson states in the City. entire world. Oh, my God. How is... Um, well, how's, you lucky. <laughs> how's, yeah, we love Nevada. We oh, really do. Man. Especially uh, northern Nevada, yes. Carson City, Tahoe, Reno. That's all awesome stuff. How's, how's the snow? Is it gone yet? Because we heard snow was crazy over there. Um, so, yeah, it is the anniversary of the assassination of President Abraham Lincoln. John Wilkes Booth, obviously, um, crept into the presidential box at Ford Theater and uh, put, a, put a gun to his head. So today is the anniversary of that day. You are looking at the John Hay Memorial. This is one of the most well-known memorials here. Um, I love Nevada too. Have ever been to Old Virginia City Cemetery? <laughs> you, want, you, want, you want to tell the story? Once or twice. Yeah. Yes, yes, we have. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna find the photo and I'm gonna put it up on our Facebook page. Uh -huh. Megan, if you can put a link to our Facebook page back up so people will know where to find it, I appreciate did, did it. We, didn't we do a video about uh, some of our some of our experiences over yonder? Well, I don't know that we did Is a it video. Up there? We, yeah, because didn't we talk about going to? It was, it's you and me in the kitchen talking about it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Did we talk about? So it's our. So we have a we have a video on the page called our curious paranormal experience and it talks about when we visited the old washer club and what happened there but specifically regarding the cemetery the old cemetery in virginia city yeah and we didn't know this we just walked up on it and there it was and we both went 
holy crap. Uh -huh. Yeah, you got to, you get to find. We, uh, we thank you, Megan. Appreciate that. Good. We uh, our last name is Bradley, and we are walking through the old Virginia City Cemetery, and we come across a very large grave with Bradley etched in it. No, it was J. Bradley. It was J. Bradley. It was, it was even John worse. John and John. Right. So and uh, we and we going into this, I made a joke about it. It was. The pair of us and um, my cousin, and I jokingly said, "Like, oh yeah, you know, we're gonna find, uh, go find my gravestone over here. I'll be buried here. This is what I want, you know." Mm -hmm. Jokingly, there was having never been there before, there and, I, and our, my cousin hadn't said, you know, ha certainly mm -hmm. didn't have any knowledge of this either. We show up, walked over to it, and it's like that was a really surreal experience. It was. I kind of get the heebie-jeebies when I think about it. A little bit. I mean, you know, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. So, uh, there are many unmarked Chinese graves out there. Yes, yes Tony. Tons. You are absolutely tons right. Tons and tons. Um, there's, a, there's a lot to talk about when it, in regards to Virginia City. And uh, we need to make like a pinky swear that one day we're going back. I know, we got to go. We should take your mother this time. She should go. This would be something for her to see. Yep. And she would be cool about going out there because there's not that many bugs. No, there aren't. There's not a ton of bugs. I mean, certainly no. not like here, where it's just humid and mm -hmm. forests. Now it is. You know. It is a little bit difficult to breathe. Yeah, <laughs> walking up that hill. So elevation mm -hmm. here uh, is like a thousand. -ish we'll do, Tony. Feet. We'll let you know if we're over there. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah, our elevation here is only is about a thousand feet ish. It's not give or take a few hundred, right? So not. Nothing, right? Good to hear. Well, the, even just the cemetery in Virginia City is probably like, what, 6,000 feet? Yep. Or something? Yep. So we and hadn't been there for that long. Mm -hmm. So we're not totally acclimatized to that. So we start walking up the hill. And I remember as we're walking up this hill, kind of getting a little tunnel vision y from just huffing and puffing so hard. Mm -hmm. And I kind of say to him, like, hey, are, are you okay? <laughs> Do like, like I do, loosen your belts. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Yes. No, I mean, totally. It, yeah, you have to breathe deeper just to get the same amount of oxygen and, that you and normally you, get. You try as hard as you want, it just doesn't feel like it matters after a while, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And I remember getting to the top of the hill and being like, thank God that there is a place to sit. Mm -hmm. Because if I don't sit, I am afraid that I will fall six feet instead of, you know, three or four and a half or whatever. So, yeah, it was. That place is so cool. I'd have a panic attack. I don't think you'd have a <laughs> no. panic attack, Megan. No, no, no. You would not have a panic well, especially attack. Especially if you go slow. We were, we were You'd being have stupid. a panic attack getting on the plane flying out there. Yes, yes you would. Well, we were being dumb. We were trying to, to boogie, you know. Yep. Speaking anyway. of, quarter till, well, it's quarter after. Yeah. So we, so, may, we may want the boogie. Yep. <laughs> So you want to say goodbye? Oh, bye. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yeah. So we have to, uh, we have to vamos. We have, or we have to vamanos. We have um, um, signs posted all over the cemetery. Even though it says on the website, hours starting April 1st are till 7.30 p.m. But it said on the gates, uh, we close at 5.30. And uh, as much as I love this cemetery, I don't want to be stuck here. No. Somebody's got to go uh, home and stay up all night and then sleep all day so they can go to work tomorrow night. One last look here of the Garfield Monument. One day we will bring you back here and take you inside. We won't let anybody in there know that we're doing it. Um, they were mean to me, so I don't mind being uh, devious to them. Uh, so here you go. Thank you, Randy. Appreciate it. Thank you to all of you who showed up for the live stream today. I know it wasn't much. I know we weren't showing you anything but a cemetery and a monument and just kind of talking off the cuff about some things. But I wanted to check, within, check in with you and let you know what we're doing. Uh, we have a lot of editing to do. Uh, thank you, Megan, for moderating and putting all that stuff up there. And we will see you next time. Thanks for being so awesome, everybody. Um, so what do I say at the end of videos? I don't remember what I say. I'm old. Huh? What do I say at the end of all my videos? Hold on. See, he doesn't Hold on. Either.
I gotta turn the noodle on. And we'll see. Uh, see you next time as we explore more curious history. Take care. Take care.